right, so good. Okay, first and foremost, I wanna let you know that we are going to run Monday through Friday. Our social show is called Shand On Demand that is actually uh, streaming live on all of our platforms. So very, very exciting. We'll reach at least 400, 500,000 people just today. Isn't that neat, you guys? Isn't that cool? I remember when I started my business and I remember crickets. I'd go out there and I'd do a Facebook Live and nobody would show up. Anybody else like that is like, ugh. It can be so frustrating because guess what happens? Our self-centeredness starts to kick in and our self-centeredness starts to say, what's the point? What's the point in me showing up? The point is, is it builds fast. Somebody put build in the comment section. It builds fast, right? I wanna make sure that lands. You gotta be a builder. Not a, not a hoper, not a dreamer, although those are beautiful when you get stuck and you journal and you get a new vision and you dream and you hope, right? But you got to get into the build. And here's what I'm going to give some relief to a few of you guys today. Okay, the relief is, is that I have realized that the only reason why things take a long time to come together, okay, I'm, I'm going to give you, I'm going to switch this so it doesn't take long, okay? Because I know me and I hate things to take a long time. But what I realized is that the reason why things take a long time to get together is because we take the rigor off it. Okay, so I'll give you a great example. I have a list. I have a list. And in my list, there are 13 people that I'm going to reach out to that I'm going to ask if they will share something with their audience. 13. Okay, so I went to the spa yesterday. I went to the spa at the Ritz Carlton here in Puerto Rico, best spa I've ever been to in my entire life. And I had my executive assistant book me an appointment because of the fact that I would never find the time to pick up the phone and walk through a time that would work, right? And so I let go of control. Somebody write the word control. Because some of you guys are, I, I know that Grant Cardone says you can, you should be a control freak, and I agree with him in some aspects, but there's areas that you must let go of control to be able to grow, right? And so how many of you guys need to book a massage or a pedicure or guys like a deep tissue massage? How many of you guys, you know, you're overdue for that? So I go to the spa and I'm reading my book at the spa because I'm currently doing 75 hard and I'm almost done two weeks, which is awesome. And, uh, and so I go to the spot, I'm reading my book, and I'm just really enjoying my space, and like, poof, download. Who gets downloads in the shower? Who gets downloads when they go walking? Who gets downloads when they go dancing? Who gets downloads when they go drink some wine with a friend at a, at a, at a beautiful restaurant? Who gets downloads when you go to have fun? Put the word fun if you get downloads when you go have fun. Put the word fun if you get downloads when you go have fun or you have space, right? Fun or space. And so here's the deal. Some of you guys are too wound tight to be able to figure out how to get through, right? How to solve whatever it is. Why can't I get more sales? You don't have any time. Why can my marketing, why does my marketing keep equating to crickets? Well, there ain't nothing wrong with you. You just got no time, right? And so if you've got no space, you have no ability to get altitude because you're weighed down with so much. So I made my list of, of, it's actually 11 people that I want to mail and two that I'm willing to pay for. Okay, so if you're not willing to pay for something, even if you don't have money, if you're not willing to figure it out, then I'm telling you your self-doubt is kicking your tushy. Okay, your self-doubt is like, it's grounding your altitude. Right? Like your plane can't get off. Do you get what I'm saying? Oh, I love this. Sarah just said I hired a, a dog walker finally. It's amazing. Do you know I have a friend who might be watching right now? It's like, I'm never getting a dog. He always says to me, I digress, I know, but this is important. He says to me, Do you know how much money your two dogs are costing you, Shanda? Isn't that awful? How much money your two dogs are costing you? And I'm like, no, no, my two dogs are, I gain value because I get out and I walk with them and I have these marriage walks with my husband because we have to take the dogs out. However, I have a dog walker and the dog walker comes during the day to take my dogs out. She's actually will be arriving. Oh, she's already gone. She's already, I didn't even hear her. She popped in, she grabbed the dogs and she's out for a walk right now. And the reason why is because I already took my dogs early this morning right? Or actually my husband did this morning. And then she takes them throughout the day. And the reason why is because when you have to shift gears and you're busy doing things that are an hourly wage, 
then what happens is that you lose altitude. So I'm willing to pay for two things to send emails. There's two companies. One is a mommy blogger and the other is selfgrowth.com. And I'm willing to pay them money to send an email to their list to a funnel that I have, right? And, and then the second thing is, is I have 11 people that I'm gonna show you what rigor looks like, 11 people that I am going to ask to mail for me. And what that looks like is I don't, I don't just, I'm gonna pop this over here. I don't just say that I have a target. Right? I don't just say I have a target that's hopeful, right? I need somebody to design a hardcore, a hardcore pasty for the top of these, these, these post-its. Cause I like the post-its versus the digital. Who still likes the post-its versus digital? Like even like writing on an iPad, like, I don't know. It just doesn't feel good. Like it feels hard, right? I have the worst, I have like a doctor's handwriting on everything digital, but I love my paper. It's like, I'm not going to digital. Who well, I just want to do a search, uh, survey. Who reads books digitally, or you read the the actual tangible book? Who's like the the hardcover or the digital? Hardcover or digital? Hardcover or digital? I just let's do a quick hardcover or digital. Let's let's really check out our entrepreneurs here. We got a few both. We got hard. We got paper, Android, both, both physical book, but some digital. Wow, guys, we are transitioning. I don't know. We're, we're adapting, aren't we? We're adapting. Ah, okay, so I don't just think I have a target to create X amount of money or to create X amount of time in my life, right? When you get these two things figured out, you have freedom. If your money will keep growing, so first there's how do I create money? And then, and then it's, it's how does that money keep coming in without me actually generating the income? Okay, and that doesn't mean that you sit on a couch because I promise you that that is a very different game. That's called you took your money, you placed it in passive income investments. And when you placed it in passive income investments, that gives you, I mean, those people don't wanna sit on a couch, but that gives you a couch ability. Do you get what I mean? Like that you could go to Lake Como in Italy and just hang and the cash is gonna keep coming in, right? And so are you guys okay if I talk about money? But yes, if you are, because a lot of times people get triggered. Um, I was listening to uh, a woman that teaches on law of attraction. And I was listening to her this morning. She had everybody saying, I love money and I'm biblical. And she goes, she goes, the love of money is not evil. I'm like, no, no, the Bible doesn't say that money is evil. It, 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 it doesn't actually say that. People need to understand what it actually says. It's when you give up your time with the people you love, when you give up your identity and you become somebody else, when you give up your value system just to make cash, that, that is the root of all evil. The, the Bible talks a lot, sorry to get biblical on some of you guys who don't like that stuff, but can I be mean? Is it okay? Because it, it, this is the mindset. Everybody needs the mindset. This is the mindset that unhooked me from being inconsistent financially and trying to like manipulate uh, all these different laws of the universe to be successful. And something always fell apart for me. Any of you guys facing that? Something always fell apart. So I love to see what, like, sometimes there's a law of attraction, man or woman that pops up. I'm really good friends with like John Asraf and these guys, like, I love them. Like John's like a buddy of mine. Right. And so, so I love looking at all this stuff and I root myself in scripture right? Because all of it was pulled out of scripture. So I like the full story. So I'm watching this woman this morning. She's like, you know, I love money. And I'm like, watch that stuff. And the next video I saw of hers was this conversation on how she's been burned in love. And she doesn't believe she'll only be in a relationship for as long as she wants to be there. And when the passion goes away, she's out. And I was like, oh, baby, I got to pray for you. Do you know what I mean? Because you're just too beautiful. You're up to making a huge difference in the world. You've got millions and millions of people who follow you and the devil's got your heart. Do you know what I mean? And, and when that unlocks, I can only imagine the impact she'll do with the millions of people who follow her. Do you guys get what I'm saying? So what I want to land right there is judgment does no good for any of us. It doesn't do good to judge yourself. It doesn't do good that if people don't believe everything that you believe, it doesn't make them wrong. 
you know, I've definitely believed things in the past and have definitely been wrong, <laughs> right? And found out later, like, oh, take my foot out of my mouth on that one. Anybody else put foot, put foot in the chat if you have ever had to take your foot out of your mouth, right? Yeah, so I just find that the more successful I get, it is, it comes from the more um, graceful my heart gets because people can feel it. If you watch my videos from like, seven years ago you could hear a little bit of condemnation right i didn't mean to but but the drive was so about like just um it just had a heaviness to it and that was part of my journey and i'm sure people judged me just like they're judging you in the process but you have to be the one that has a complete non-negotiable for judgment which doesn't mean you agree with everything it just means that you don't make somebody wrong make them an a-hole because they don't have the same scenarios so I am not the law of attraction girl. However, I am the girl that says that you have authority over your universe. And when you take authority over your, your territory, which is why real estate is such an incredible thing to invest in. Because when you take authority over territory and you spread out over territory, the empire called your family, the empire called your family becomes big. Right. And so you can get money freedom through passive investments. Right. And passive investments take time to build. And if you don't have a vision for this, because when you put in large chunks of cash, it spits out small amounts of money over long periods of time. Do you guys hear what I'm saying? So like I had a goal and I said, I want 200,000 a month. This was what my goal was. I was like, I want $200,000 a month, reoccurring income on passive. And when we backed in with our advisors, they're like, Shanda, you need 17 million. <laughs> now, I will tell you, somebody knows how to do that at less money, but they said, you need 17 million to pop into this game. Let's start playing. So I start the game. I don't get intimidated by the game. I start the game. I started this years ago. And then what happens is you start to build your network. So the superpower of creating lots of time and money to be able to create freedom is your network. How many of you guys come to Zone event? Put Zone in the chat. It's your network. Right? It's 100% your network. I have seen our network in Mentor Me Live create millionaires that I didn't necessarily coach. I mean, I coached them in the community, but it was the community that actually lifted them up and showed up, mailed for them, just like my group of friends that I'm going to ask for mail for me. That's a network, right? And so you have to make sure you don't go, oh, that Shanda has that network or Tony Robbins has that network. No, no, you have a network too. And do you know where my friend Amanda went from a, a three, $4 million company, which I know is still pretty good, but if you want me to coach you, how many of you guys would like me to coach you on how to create a $3 million company? Put, put M in the chat, put M. Then my question to you is who's not in Mentor Me Live? Put no coaching or put no coach, no coach, no coach. Who's not in Mentor Me Live that wants a $3 million business? Put no coach in the chat who's not meant to be live, that wants a million dollar coach, put no coach in the chat. So the question is, is if I know the way, why wouldn't you be a meant to be live? Maybe I haven't made an offer. I'm not making you an offer now, but maybe I haven't made an offer. Maybe you didn't know about it. Do you guys hear what I'm saying? So the reason why I'm trying to say this, it's a lack of rigor that stops us from getting freedom because the how to create this is all around you. Whatever it is that you want, it's all around you. And so what stops the rigor? Disbelief. Okay, so write the word courage down. And for this month, my request is I want you to activate courage. I want you to activate courage. So you need to write it down because you'll forget. Okay, you need to activate courage, which means if you're going to be courageous, you're going to have to create a target from the target, I'm going to flip to the other page. From the target, this is my framework. Some of you guys already know this. I'm going to say this for the new people. What is your non-negotiable? What is your non-negotiable um, non-negotiable non goal for this month? What is it? Go in the chat. And let me go. Let let me see it. What's your non-negotiable target for this month? Thirty thousand. Sloan says. 
um, sell one, so sell, sell one package. Andrea, I hope that package is a big package, right? Win, bring a friend contest. You should do that. We got two weeks left, right? Win, bring a friend contest as well. Zena and Esteban, right? Uh, Andrea, three thousand dollars. Why don't you make that six thousand? Okay, Andrea, make that six thousand. Okay, because three thousand probably just gets you by. Five million, Donna, awesome. Four thousand. Uh, Karen, win, bring a friend. Uh, Karen, you could so do that with all your with all your hairstylists, right? They got no mentorship. Uh, Nina, four thousand. Uh, uh, six thousand, awesome. Two packages. Deborah, twenty thousand. Um, buy a new home so good sloan i love it Fifty thousand, ten thousand, four thousand, fifteen thousand, six thousand. what is your non-negotiable this is the framework and this framework works if you use it every month okay so the target is a non-negotiable okay so the person who said two packages for six thousand i would say sell that this week why because the rigor it takes to be successful is create something called tension. And with, with the longer you give yourself to hit something, the less likely you're gonna hit it only because energetically, we started this, this training on talking about energy, right? Energetically, success loves clues. And so like when I look at my list of people that, that I am gonna ask to mail, I'm gonna put that in something called priority focus time. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through my phone and I'm gonna do exactly this. Watch, I'll do it in front of you. So I'm gonna have one gone. Hey girl, I wanted to send you a quick message because I have a favor to ask you. I am up to a really big game this week, actually this month. And I know that you have a bunch of clients that um, are not in the seven figure income bracket. Like I know that you, you are interested in only working with millionaires, you made that shift in your brand. And so we've talked about this before where you have all these clients on your list that don't, you don't serve anymore. My question is, can you and I get together like in the next day or two, have a quick conversation. I have a funnel that if we actually introduce them to it, I can give you the email that we could create a revenue stream with it, but we could also figure out what is it that you're working on and see where can I support like a boost there. So I love you, you're amazing. Let me know uh, when you can talk uh, today, tomorrow, the next day, and let's figure this out. I only got like three weeks to hit my goal. And so my question is, can we actually get on the phone next day or two? All right, I'll talk to you soon, bye. Got it? Okay, so that is, so now I'd be done. And so what would I do? I would go the next person on my list. This is rigor. I don't go hang out, whatever. I go next person on my list. I go, um, hey, quick question for you. Um, I know that you are working on a lot of launches throughout the year and we don't do a big launch scenario. However, I do think your product would be a good product for our entrepreneurs. Um, and so my question is, is what are you working on? I'd love to know what you're working on, um, especially like end of this year, first quarter of the next year and see like, how can we work together more? And then secondly, um, the flip side is we are wanting to grow a base of entrepreneurs that um, are start up to a million, million and a half uh, in revenue stream and want to know if you want to do a JV rev split on that and see if we can both support like a big jump in both of our companies. So let me know if you're interested. If you are, just text, text me back the word yes. And then let's figure out a time to talk. So just text me back because I'm on calls all day. Text me the word yes, and then uh, we'll, we'll figure out a time to talk in the next day or two. All right, I hope you're doing good. I look forward to hearing what you're working on and I'll talk to you soon, bye. Done, there's two. That's what rigor looks like. It's one after another. It's not like, oh my gosh, I had the courage and it was exhausting to send one message. It is one after another, one after another, one after another, one after another, one after another. And so what I do is I have a non-negotiable. So let's just say in sales, it might be one, uh, one sale a day, right? Or it might be um, 10,000 for the month, but then I would say 10,000 for the week. And so what, what you have to do is, here's why this works. 
If I can barely think I can make 10,000 a month, if I make it during a week, my rigor kicks in. Do you get what I'm saying? Because what happens is, and yours will too, is you start to make the how list, right? And so like, how would I do this? So let me share something with you. There's a billionaire that I know that I, I helped, I helped lay out um, just a business product for, for her and for her company actually. And she didn't launch it because she said, uh, she said, I don't have someone to lead it. Okay, so what we're talking about is a framework to leadership. So if you do it, it's going to be more profitable uh, short term, maybe, if you're good. However, this, um, this will create slavery. Because there's only so much you can do. do you, you guys follow me here? If you have someone else do it, then this creates freedom, but this cost. So if something costs me something, I ask myself, what is the daily standard? That brings me in the revenue, that makes it make sense. So example, somebody on my team doesn't know this yet, but I'm gonna ask her to book me on 25 uh, podcasts or Facebook groups. And the standard, right? So if we go back to the target, the non-negotiable, the standard will be contacting 40 people a day. That will be the standard. And then I will put that in a two and a half hour priority focus time. Do you get what I'm saying? Do you guys hear what I'm saying? So, so this will happen because my humanness will get into this. Because first of all, I don't like the idea of contacting 40 people a day. Do you guys, who's with me, right? So I know I won't do that with my life and what I'm doing. And when I started my business, I may have done it myself when I started and I might have owned contacting 40 Facebook groups or 40 podcasts. And then this is gonna have a minimum on it, minimum downloads. And I'm gonna, I would have to ask some of my friends and say, or go to, go to chat GPT or YouTube and say, what, what, is a, what is a highly profitable podcast download? Or how many downloads does podcast have to have for it to be profitable for me to interview on? Do you guys get what I'm saying? And I would go to the internet for the, that, those, that data. A lot of people are not resourceful like that, so they get into the grind and then they're disappointed because the results are not there. Do you get what I'm saying? So I'm thinking like if I'm going to do 25 podcasts in a month or 25 Facebook group interviews in a month, I want to make sure my time is profitable. Like I don't want to show up for somebody that has 100 people in a group like that's not going to work for me. Do you know what I mean? Like I need it to be profitable. So you start to, sometimes it's a bit of a guess at first, but that's how you refine. Most of you guys get upset at yourself when you're in the refining stage because you think it's failure. It's not failure, it's called wisdom. And when you figure out something's not working, like you need a minimum download to be interviewed on a podcast for it to be effective for your time, you, you get smarter. And as you get smarter, it's called wisdom. And that wisdom produces a better time on your, a better return on your time. Do you get what I'm saying? The reason why I say money loves speed is you want to make those decisions quicker, right? Which comes down to standard. Your non-negotiable is a standard. So freedom has a cost to it. I'm going to tell you something. When our, when, when, when we give up a piece of our freedom, there's a cost always. Right? The government pays for your food, there's a cost. Right? Do you guys get, hear what I'm saying? So there is a cost to freedom. It's supposed to be now. There's a cost to freedom. And you have to be willing to pay this cost to get the freedom. Make sure it's the freedom you want. You get what I'm saying? Make sure it's the freedom you want. Right? So be clear on what freedom looks like for you. Okay? There, there are women that are, that are in relationships right now or married to people to have the freedom of not having a bill. But the cost is they feel trapped. Do you guys see what I'm saying? Make sure the cost is worth the freedom. Does that make sense? 
And so you should go for freedom, but I'm just telling you, freedom has a cost and make sure that you're willing to pay it, right? So I'm willing to pay somebody to, find, to send 40, you know, 40 inquires a day, and I'm willing to pay a copywriter or go to chat, write something and then go to chat GPT and ask it to write it in direct, direct response marketing. Give that to my person to book me on 25. That's the non-negotiable target. And the reason why I'm willing to do that is I won't do it. And I know if I do those interviews that all it, it will help hit my target for the month. Uh, is this starting to help? Because people are like, when does it make sense to hire someone when you freaking think? When you think and you're clear, well, there's a value to me hiring you, but you need to set the standard. And if they don't hit the standard, it doesn't work. And I don't know, very few people hit the standard without giving up their entire life that don't have priority focus time which is two hours at minimum, 90 minutes at minimum, but two hours is ideal at the same time every day, okay? So if you do it, it'll be more profitable, but you run a risk. And the risk is, will you stay consistent on it or are you busy on other things, right? So you have a target, which is a non-negotiable. Then you have a formula for booking me on Facebook groups or podcasts so I can work with more people, more audiences that are warm. There's a formula. There's 40 contacts a day. And then the non-negotiable is 25 bookings in the month. If they can't do that, they're not on the team. Okay? Just is what it is. You have to find, it means you got to hire right, so you have the right person. So notice I don't hire weak. I don't hire for cost. I hire somebody that actually knows. So I go to like hiremymom.com, care.com, and I write an ad that, let me tell you something. I write an ad that culturally fits me. So I don't like to manage people. If I have an employee that needs to, or a contractor that constantly needs details from me and will not figure it out themselves, they won't last long around me. Cause it's just not in my nature. Like I don't want another meeting. Do you know what one of my success metrics is right now? No more than five meetings in a month. That is my goal before the end of the year. I want five, no more than five meetings in a month. Okay, that, that's what I'm looking for. No more than five meetings per month. That's a success metric I have. Right now, as of today, it's become a non-negotiable that I'm committed to having by the end of the year, which means things have to change. Does that make sense? Yes? I know will explode when I have that open, that open time. So there's a formula. The formula is contact for 40 contacts a day. There's a target, 25 bookings. There is, so what am I doing? You guys have been following me for a long time. This is how I get out of procrastination, right? What am I doing? I'm accessing traffic. Like you guys who are new to me, you might not know this, but I tell every entrepreneur, stop looking at the product you're going to sell or the pricing because you need to focus on traffic. You need to own your audience. Social media is rented. It's great. I'm streaming right now. Fantastic. But unless I pay to play, I cannot guarantee I will contact those people. Do you guys hear what I'm saying? That sucks. You rent it. You have no power. It can be shut down, taken away, hacked, blocked, whatever. Whatever, algorithm shifted, you have no ability to stop the rent increase. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, you don't sit on the board, you don't make the decisions, you don't own the property, but what's wild is you put in the energy to build it for the landlord. Do you get what I'm saying? So I love social media. There make, it makes sense to rent some things in life. Definitely makes sense to rent some things in life. However, you should not build as that being your primary, that you need to build your list first. I am leveraging to build my list. That's what this is. Okay, and I have a really nice, good size list. It's still my number one focus. It's a big aha for some of you guys, right? I have never backed off this game. Formula 40, time frame. This is how I run priority focus time. Two hours in my company, and we will have every employee on the two hour priority focus with an end, like a end of priority focus time report. That's live on a Zoom. Why? 
because there's something called human moments, human moments. This is why it didn't happen. And almost always what I am realizing, at least in our company, because you know, my, my entrepreneurs and hardcore, they're smart. They, they know how to, they know how to, you guys know how to work it. You're like, but I did this and this happened. I'm so right. But the team just, it's not, it's, it's not, it's not emotional for me anywhere with the team. Right. So it's like, did you hit it or did you not hit it? If you didn't hit it, I'm looking for the human moment. The number one human moment that stops a success is multitasking. And I'm seeing it everywhere. So when I say formula, I want to make sure this lands with you. Okay. When I say formula, I mean, there is one thing you're focusing on and you're not working it, you're completing it. That's the big distinction. You're not working it, you are completing it. So I don't say I'm working on my book, I say I'm completing two chapters. I don't say that I'm working on enrolling, I say I will have an enrollment. And if I don't, I will see a human moment. Sometimes the human moment is sloppiness. I didn't set myself up to win. I had nobody booked during that time or I had no idea how to do follow-up. So by the way, that's another thing. Formula in our priority focus time and our sales team is follow-up. It's not booked calls. The booked calls are in all the rest of the day. The follow-up is two hours that has nothing on the calendar just to touch base with people that they've already talked to. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, it's, is that not hot? 80% of wealth is created in the follow-up, right? If you think about it, follow through, follow up, everything's on the back end. The, 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 the initial enrollments or sales that any of you guys get, those are laydowns. 80% of your cash flow is on your ability to not feel weird about following up with people. That, that is, that, that's where all your, your money, who's got an aha on that? Where it's like, you could make more money right now. Like some of you guys have been in business for a little while. You could make more money right now. Do you know who my biggest buyers are? The people who were, who were with me two years ago. The people who were with me four years ago. The people who were with me three years ago. Those are my biggest buyers. Why? I mean, from surveying, they went out, they tried it on their own, they joined other programs, they dropped out of the other programs, and they, with love, realized, wow, there's something special with the community at Hardcore. And we hear over and over and over again the level of value we bring. But sometimes people turn off and they stop listening. And the grass looks greener on the other side. Uh, the the um, the law of attraction girl that I was listening to said, the grass is greener on the other side. That's why, that's why I don't believe you should stay in a marriage or, you, or there's one soulmate. I'm like, oh baby, the grass ain't greener on the other side. That's called temptation. And, and the grass is greener when you work through the hard moments and you stay in follow up and follow through 80% of your wealth is there. Okay, you guys get what I'm saying? Business, relationships, fitness, health, your relationship with God. It's all about how you prioritize. And the way you prioritize is what is the most important thing in these areas. And then you chunk calendar time with it. Do you get what I'm saying? Yes. So, so, so when we look at a human moment, we want to implode the human moment because this is, you. this will come because people say I was working on it and it didn't happen. There's a break in setting yourself up to win, or there's the break in rigor, right? But you'll see where the break is. If you do not accept the human moment, my friends, you will have the most profitable, successful month of your life. If you will put this in your calendar right now. All right, so establish your target. Your non-negotiable is one thing that you're focusing on that you are committed to completing, not working on, that there's a time frame, 90 minutes, two hours, whatever that looks like, 30 minutes is not enough. It's just not enough. And then what is the human moment, if any, that got in the way of creating it? It usually takes three to four days to get that standard into your life. So I'll end on this, okay? 100% I'm at the end of 75 hard. When I started, I didn't know if I wanted to do it, right? 
when you start your target, you're like, I don't know if I can do it. I don't know. I mean, I can, I want the results of it, but I don't want to put in the work to get it. Right? I'm sitting there going, I got things going on. I'm not sure if I want to work out twice a day. Yes, I see the benefit of reading 10 pages of a book every day. Um, the water, I was like, this is going to be easy with the water. The water has been the hardest part, right? And and at the beginning, the first the first few days, I was like, this is this is taking away from some of my life. Right, because I had to fit this into my schedule. I was like, this is taking away from some of my life. And what I realized is that by week two, I already assessed my human moment was I wasn't scheduling in my calendar. See, the first two, three days I scheduled my workouts in my calendar. I scheduled my reading time in my calendar. I prepped really good. I was a great starter. Right, but I wasn't, I was a little sloppy on my fall through of the full 75 days. What I should have done, and some of you guys would have done this, I know, is I should have went through 75 days and scheduled all of my workouts, my reading time, everything. I should have scheduled it. That, that would have been me being like, okay, I got, I'm focused, right? And if it's in your calendar, it most likely will come to pass. Okay, so some of you guys are running goals without your calendar reflecting those goals, okay? So I looked for the human moment on week two and I realized, oh my gosh, this isn't scheduled. I only scheduled for the first week and then the second week got messy. I realized my human moment, it, my workouts were at my calendar. I just went when I could fit them in. Uh, I almost fell off. Week three, I put it all in my schedule. It was easy. Week four, I got messy again, put my morning workouts, not my second. And it, you know, I had some late night workouts that, uh, that were not convenient at all. And I almost fell asleep before finishing my water twice. Right. And I was like, wow, those little things can get you. Now I will tell you my 75 heart is completely scheduled. There's things about it that I will never stop doing, but I know that never stop doing it requires me to schedule it. Do you get what I'm saying? Like it has, I can't get sloppy and not like I have to schedule it and if it's scheduled then falling off is a thing of the past do you guys hear what I'm saying falling off is a thing of the past and so what I think is a beautiful thing about this story is that you and I have more power over our schedule and our life and what we spend our time on we don't have to be in reactional mode we just don't we can completely schedule our calendar so that when somebody comes to you and says, you know, Zena or Karen or Donna, like, hey, can we go do this? You're like, I'm already committed. I apologize, but I'm already committed. What about next month or the month after we can put something in because my calendar just has X and there's still some space. So you might want to put in friend blocks, date blocks um vacation blocks you get what i'm saying like what what where are your massage blocks where are those pieces in and the more i'm very convinced and some of you guys are like repulsed by this because you don't like to be scheduled but the scenario is is you can have a schedule where you block out certain days and say no meetings right like nothing on these days so that's the last week of the month for me it's a no-go it's a no-go zone Right. And so when you get bandwidth, when you get space, you get bandwidth. And when you get bandwidth, you get altitude. I'm convinced none of us are stupid. I'm convinced none of us are really lazy. I think we are we are lacking vision and we are not scheduled rigorously enough. And I think if you can do that, I really believe that you're going to have a great life because your calendar should be set up to prioritize what's important to you. So I'll leave you on that, you guys. If you are still in a position that you have not purchased your zone tickets, I'm going to tell you right now, you need to go do that. And here's why I'm telling you. We're going to be sold out. We're going to be sold out. And so I love the way that we're going right now. Almost everybody has booked their hotel rooms. Like this is a solid group of, I would say, ambitious, solid's the word that comes to mind. These are solid people. They're doing what they say they're gonna do. I know that because they booked their hotels, right? Like when you got a bunch of people book tickets, they're like, well, let's see if I go. No, no, these people have booked their hotels. So for today and today only, if you go to the zone event, dot com i'm going to add the networking event i think i might have done i don't know if i did this last week but we did this on my birthday 
We're going to add the networking event, which is $150 to your ticket. If you grab your ticket for zone event right now, um, I'm not going to keep opening up that offer. That is just, I thought about it last night. It felt like a, a beautiful moment last night that I felt like I got a Holy spirit tap. So somebody right now that's getting a tap right now to make a decision to commit to completion energy, to stop being in wishy washiness that really says, you know what? I want to set myself up to have the best business and lifestyle, then I'm going to tell you that this message is for you. Go to the zoneevent.com. You'll get three days of marketing mindset money. We're going to be working blueprints in the room. I've asked some of my friends to come together. We're going to, our intention is to rise people up into millionaire status. Some of you guys are already millionaires. I want you to create million dollar months consistently. If you're not a millionaire, if you're not, or if you are a millionaire, if you're not a millionaire yet, let's stop going for the hundred thousand dollar business business. Let's stop because it's not enough money. Right? Let's take you past that. Let's see what it would be like if you can still have a life. You can still have a life. You know, it goes back to, oh, I ripped it off. It's like, you can either do everything yourself or you can learn how freedom has a cost, as a cost of risk, it has a cost of courage to get into the zone event. It's the cost, like there is a cost. But if you know how to monetize that cost, who would like to know that put me? If you know how to monetize that cost, then what happens is the game changes, right? So you have a game, it's called your life and you're on a runway. You better make sure you're on the right runway. If you need more money, then I'm the girl to help you get that. We have the highest success rate of entrepreneurs hitting their monthly and quarterly goals. Come let us help you. Go to thezonevent.com. I'm gonna add the night before networking event. We call it the money and mingle. I'm gonna add that to everybody's tickets that jump in today. So I'm gonna leave you on this. If you're coming to zone event, and you don't have friends coming with you. You should. I never study alone. Who tells me iron sharpens iron? My friends, when I complain about something, they say, you should just create a product around that. That's how our leadership program got created. Do you realize that? Like a, a division that we have that's a massive division in our company never would have happened if I didn't have friends winning with me. We study together, we win together, we mail for each other. It's a lot easier to get to the top when you have people who are successful around you. You make that contribution by looking at who's coming with me to zone event today. Who's coming to the networking party? What's your goal for the networking party? What's the target? Right, I'm gonna monetize. I'm gonna I'm gonna make money before I even uh, before I even start zone event. I'm gonna go to the networking event. I'm gonna get the free ticket. Some of you guys are already up upgraded to this. You're smart, right? But I'm gonna monetize. Don't just say I'm gonna monetize. You need to set a target. I'm gonna create a joint venture partnership that I'm gonna reach. Let's say twenty five thousand more people because I created partnerships with people that had lists where I can connect with 25,000 more people. Do you get what I'm saying? So you walk into that networking party knowing that you're going to monetize your time there. You guys who are not staying in the hotel, that's a mistake. It's a huge mistake. I've never once, I can say never once in my entire life, gone to an event that I have not stayed in the hotel. Why? Because you're underestimating the value of you being in proximity to the other people who are there. When you go to the coffee shop, well, I'll do that on the break. No, no, no. It's about proximity. When you, when you go work out in the morning, who's there? The same type of people as you. You saw them in the event. You talked to them in the gym, right? Who's in the same restaurants as you? Same people have the same value systems as you. Like you need to start thinking like it's one big manifestation bucket of amazingness and you are amazing and you need to be in proximity. I mean, everybody I know talks about think and grow rich, Tony Robbins, myself, everybody talks about proximity. But I think it goes over a lot of people's head because they say things like, I think it'd be so fun to stay in an Airbnb. No, that is, it's not about so fun. It's about go to the zone event and maximize. Like get unreasonable about the results that can come in your life because you look for my 1% club. Look for my people who mentor me a lot. My clients will be wearing a different credential, right? Get to know the people in the room. Look for the people in your industry. Look for the people who have your clients. You, you know what I mean? Like 
Look for the people that you can partner with and have the thing monetize before I even open my mouth. So I'd be honored to coach you at this event. I haven't done this event for almost four years because of lockdowns. And I tell you, I'm bringing, I'm bringing the fire like the most epic event you've ever seen. I already have the highest success rates in the industry. And I tell you, my goal is to have the best business, epic business retreat that you've ever been to. So you walk out and you're like, I just got a ton of clarity. So go to zoneevent.com. Make sure that you got a couple friends going with you. I really believe having a tribe of five, six, 10 people that you can grow with would be super, super smart. All right, my friends, I will see you later. See you tomorrow. VIP, wait for me, okay?